Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. For a long time, a long time, I've been saying I need a metal cutting bandsaw for the garage. I said it in the last video, and even Dan said the last time I was using the jigsaw, Dan goes, you need a metal cutting bandsaw. That changes today. I got this Milwaukee Porta Band, and it is one of those metal cutting bandsaws that you hold up and you, you cut like pipes and, and stuff like that. Not how I'm going to use it. I've got this accessory from Swag Off-Road that turns this into a benchtop bandsaw with a table. It's gonna be super cool, it's gonna be super convenient, and it's going to solve a lot of my problems. This particular thing it, it, that turns a porta band into a desktop, desktop, benchtop bandsaw, this works with many, many brands, even like the Harbor Freight and whatever. They, they say on their website that their favorite is the Milwaukee, and then this particular model has a bigger throat, maybe by like a half inch or so. I went with the corded because I don't need the cordless because this is going to be stationary in the garage. So I have no affiliation. This is not sponsored. I don't own any Milwaukee tools. Uh, I have worked with, uh, not worked with, I have used Swag Off-Road products before in my tube bender, but they have no idea who I am. I purchased these things with my own money. This is going to make my life so much easier. So I haven't even opened this up yet. I have no idea how difficult or how easy this is going to be to set up, but let's do it. So we have everything unboxed. There was no assembly with the porta band saw. Um, you just kept just putting the blade in, which it didn't come with a blade, so we had to make a trip to go get one. But that, that's got a good solid feel to it. It's got a variable speed on there, and then it's got the safety trigger. Uh, the table from Swag is in pieces, so we do have to do a little bit of assembly. This is what it's going to look like when it's all together. Just a cute little benchtop bandsaw. There's, when you buy this from their website, you have to choose which saw you have so you get the right parts. And then I went with the upgraded package of the foot switch so I can turn my saw on and off with the foot. It's a cool safety feature and just convenient. I also went with a powder coated table top, which I cut into with my X-Acto knife. So good job, Pachuto. So now I'm going to assemble this and I'll let you know the difficulty factor of this, but it should be easy. There's, I mean, that's not a lot of parts. So let's figure this out. So this little set screw rests on the saw, which then determines how square that is. Typically when you use one of these saws, you have to hold down the trigger for it to work. Since we have the foot switch, we can Velcro that down. It comes with this little Velcro strap. Now that switch is permanently down, we can plug this into this. And then that can go on the floor. That took like seven minutes to put together. Like it wasn't, it wasn't hard or difficult at all. Um, the instructions were fairly clear. So now uh, I need to go grab a piece of metal and we'll test this out. Yeah. Ah. So Dan, before I show you how I'm going to use this, I would like to take a second to tell you about my friends at Squarespace. Dan, do you have a website? No, you don't. If you were going to build a website, I would suggest using Squarespace. Why, Dan? 
because Squarespace has beautiful templates to get you started. And Dan, if you wanted to start your own website and have a community of people and gather on your website and maybe have it password protected so you could keep your secret stuff secret, you could do that. And I know, Dan, that if you were on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, you could bring those feeds into your Squarespace site if you were on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So Dan, I'm asking you to go to squarespace.com and start your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, Dan, go to squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Dan, all of my websites, makesomething.com, makingapodcast.com, idiotsracing.com, they're all Squarespace sites. I used to be a web developer. I used to sit in front of a computer all day making websites, Dan. This was before you would work for me. I, I, was, I was boring. I was boring spending all my time coding websites. Then I hired you, we started making videos, and we stopped worrying about the back end, the code and all that, and we just let Squarespace take care of all that. So I appreciate you, Dan. I appreciate all of you watching, and I appreciate Squarespace making these videos possible. So once again, squarespace.com, and when you're ready to launch, squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I just grabbed some scrap steel from the garage and we're going to make our first test cuts. Yeah, no sparks. It's nice and cool. Uh, it doesn't belong in this shop because this is a wood shop, but it's going to go in the other garage and I finally have a way to make decent straight cuts. I forgot that I got this as well. Ah, uh, Dan, I've needed this for so freaking long. Uh, I'm, I don't know why I waited so long. So that is it. Uh, so I'll show you how the saw comes off if you want to use the saw handheld. Um, so there is just one. I'm going to unplug this. So there is just double check. That's not going to come on here. There's just one little screw here. I loosen this and then this just pops off and you could use it as normal. And then it just goes right back on here slides in there this back here rest on top of that and then i just put this back in there and you're good to go again you can uh you can there's different packages with not affiliated at all not sponsored but uh you can get the non-powder coated top you don't need the foot switch if you you don't need the foot switch if you don't need it. So you could get the cheaper version of the table and then this will, work, this will work with a number of saws. You can go get a Harbor Freight one and throw it on there. I chose this because it has the bigger throat and this is the one they recommended. And on Amazon, the Milwaukee saw has the best reviews. So that is it. I'm very, very happy. I've needed this for so freaking long. So. Oh, we got, uh, we do have some new merchandise. We have this very offensive shirt for sale in the store. We're doing a whole series of designer shirts. When I say designer, I mean like art shirts. So this is the inlay in my new bench that we are working on right now. I'm not sure if this video is going to be out by the time you see this, but we're getting a little bit more creative around here. We've got new hats. I've also got books for sale. We got the brand new Make Your Own Kitchen Tools book, hot off the presses, always wanted to say that. Make Your Own Cutting Boards and the Bandsaw Box book. All of those are for sale at my website, makesomething.com. I think that's it, Dan. We're done. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. Yeah.